hold on to your tiny shorts because we're making Jack in the Boxes tiny crispy tacos. But first, allow me to read an email that I received February 25th, I think. Just wanted you to know that 11 of us will be wearing your green Not Not Taco shirts at my son's graduation from boot camp when he will be given the title Marine. My son found Sam the Cooking on YouTube and we've been watching and cooking ever since. We love it. My son will be so surprised when he sees us for the first time in 13 weeks he's been at boot camp uh, wearing the shirts. And then we are taking him to your restaurant. So excited. We're from Minnesota. Thank you. And then the world fell apart. And then the family, all 11 of them, could not come out here. And the crazy thing is, today when you're watching this, it is April 24th. And this is the day of Thomas's graduation from boot camp when he becomes a Marine. Yeah. Hoorah. Hoorah. Is that it? Uh, that's it. That's it. I don't know if we're allowed to say it, though. Well, creative license. Forgive us, Thomas. Anyway, uh, today's episode will be dedicated to uh, young Thomas, who today has become a Marine. More about that later. Now, on to the crispy, tiny tacos that I'm really concerned I'm going to eat about 6,000 of. You? Yeah. Max's brother, uh, Zach, said, what are you guys making? And I told him, and he went, oh, no. I think we all feel a little, oh, no. In fact, I'm going to make two types. I'm going to make the type that I think they make, and then I'll make a slightly different version with chicken so that the slut bone can have them because <laughs> she's not the ground beef thing. Woo! Don't show that. <laughs> don't you know that when you say don't show that, that absolutely positively means to Max, I'm f***ing showing that. No, no, I'm trying to get more your time, so. <laughs> well, with the sound of freedom above us, uh, we will begin, but we're going to start by making a very delicious uh, avocado, lime, cilantro, cream sauce for dipping. It goes like this. I'm going to use a bullet to make this. You could use a blender. If you didn't have a blender or a bullet or a processor would work, just do it all by hand. And we begin with one whole avocado that I've cut into a few pieces. We'll just drop this in. Uh, cilantro. And if you don't like cilantro, tough titties start to like it because it's delicious. Uh oh. Yes, can we Somebody's that? got to turn their phone off. Somebody's a very bad boy. Uh, three cloves of garlic. Got a jalapeno here that I've taken the seeds out of and cut up. And I haven't used this bullet for a long time, so we're gonna find out how it works. Good pinch of kosher salt and pepper. Juice of, I'd say a uh, half of a lime, if it was a good lime, and this lime sucks. It's basically a juice less lime. I want a couple tablespoons, so a good lime, you get that out of half, but not these guys. Two more liquid things, a little squeeze of avocado oil for richness, and a little agua to help this whole thing come together. And then we put the base, on that helps chop. We put it on the uh, bottom of the machine. Then we take this, we put it on the base or whatever it's called. We push down and we mix. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I think it'll get there. Watch. Oh, do you? I need more liquid. Okay, I need more liquid. Oh yeah. It's like guacamole at this point. Oh my gosh. Really delicious, but. So I don't want to put too much in because I don't want this to be like soup. I want it to be creamy. And again. There we go. Let's check it. Nope, a little bit more. We're getting there though. Would you like it a little thinner? 
Or do you like that? Oh, it looks pretty good to me. We just try a bit. It's pretty good. A little more salt. Tiny splash of water. One more piece of garlic. And this goes, lid goes on. We're 20 seconds away from perfection, Max. And here's what we've got. Oh, look at that. Mother may I. That's gonna be perfect with our little crispy tiny tacos. You know what it does need? I'll show you what it needs. I think you know. It needs just a little bit of green, Max. There's a couple leaves, there you go. All right, this, I'm gonna put in the fridge. Now, onions. Here's how we start. Avocado oil, always. Some finely diced yellow onion. And I say finely because these are gonna be little tiny tacos. You can't have a giant piece of onion in a little tiny taco. You gotta scale everything for the size. And this is tiny size, so we're going with tiny onions. It's a hot pan, it's only been in there about 30 seconds, and now I'm ready to put in about a half a pound of ground beef. And we drop. It's pretty simple. We're cooking, we're ground beefing. The end result, I do not want to be, um, sorry for saying this, moist, really, or wet. Because, yep, yeah, make all the jokes you want. Because if they're soaking, when we put them into the oil, it's not gonna be a good thing. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna add the stuff that's gonna give it some really good flavor. Some cumin. Love it. Some paprika. Some garlic powder. Oregano. This gets a mix. How's it smelling, Max? Ridiculous. I could actually just take a spoon and start eating. Well, I think it's a little raw. It's no, look it. Barely. You have issues, I don't. Coarse, kosher salt and pepper. Tiny bit more. And then since we're almost there, more garlic. So let's put in a couple of decent sized cloves. You know I like to make a little place in the middle, a little well. The garlic goes in. This clove comes out. In. A little splash of oil on our garlic friends. And what do I say at this point? When it starts to get super fragrant, then we can mix it in. Perfect. Just break up the pieces. You want everything, again, the format's tiny, make it tiny. One more thing to add, refried beans. For the win, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, this is gonna take this from, from oh good to crazy good, from amazing to double amazing, from holy shit to holy fuck. Come on, let's put some in. Not all of it, half the can, let's go. To our half a pound of ground beef and the onion and the garlic, we're gonna add a half a 15 ounce can, whatever it is, of refried beans. And just mix these around. There's no way to make these tacos in a simple format when you're putting in ground beef and then some of the refrieds on a tortilla. So we'll mix the two together. Oh God. Honestly, I'm telling you right now, I don't know if you're a refried bean fan, but this is food of the gods for me. And when it's all mixed in, take it off, let it cool a bit. This. Look, I know to some people, my wife, this will just look like uh, grossness. Mm. 
But to me, this intensely rich beef with the, ah, uh, the whole thing. We let this cool. Remember, I mentioned something for the slut bong. And here's what it is. I had some chicken that I made the other day, chicken. But because it's in these pieces that I just pulled it off the, 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 the bird when it was done, we need to cut it up. Remember, it's the small format. Tiny tacos need tiny chicken. So we'll make this tiny. Back in the bowl. A quick wipe because I'm super freaking anal. One is a little green salsa. And I say little because remember, I don't want these things to be wet. Sorry for the word. And then we'll add a little of the um, Monterey Jack and uh, cheddar cheese mix. And we mix. Perfect. You know what it is now, Max? It's taco time. Here's how we start. We're using the classic corn tortilla. But remember, what size are these, Max? Six inch? Tiny. Small? Tiny? Tiny. Oh, the tiny. So I thought you were asking about the tortillas. No. Tiny tacos. This is not a tiny tortilla. We have to make a tiny tortilla. And uh, we're going to do that by cutting them down by using this, uh, this solid gold mug that I... Mm -hmm. It's not solid gold. Watch how this works. I don't, I don't know what this is. That's, uh, well, if Kelly was here, I would tell her that that's seven inches. Okay, that's just, forget that stupid joke. <laughs> Sorry, it's a very dumb old joke. Very dumb. Sorry. Uh, I don't know how big this is. I think it's uh, four inches? Something like that. Is twice this be a bottom? No, maybe three and a half. So I'm going to put it here, and then I'm just going to cut around the outside. Like this. And here's what I have. I have a tiny taco. No, I don't. I have a tiny tortilla, Max. Let's just do it with the rest of them. And then save this part for making tortilla chips. Deep frying them, throw them in, cut them into whatever shapes you want. Right? Now you've got tortilla chips. You recognize these sizes. I mean, you recognize these shapes, right? Trust me, you're going to make tortilla chips, then you can make all kinds of stuff. So we just cut the rest of these, and I think I should be able to do four at a time this. Just have a good sharp pointy knife. Follow along. And voila. Here you go. All right. Next step is to wipe your board. But here's what's important. If I try to fill these now and squeeze them together, there's a very good chance that they're going to break because that's just the nature of a corn tortilla. So here's what I do. I'm going to take one and throw it on the flat top. And it's only going to get about, oh, I don't know, 15 seconds or something. Just enough to make it pliable. I don't want to cook it. And when it is, and we know it is because the gardeners are here, we take it off and now we put some of the inside. So we're going to start with our beef and refried beans and use about a tablespoon and a half in the middle like that. And then just close it together and it will work like glue. Now this guy is just gonna sit here and wait to be fried and we'll continue with the other ones. Last one. All right, let's make a couple chicken ones, okay? And the chicken. Let's see if these guys stick together as well. I'm not sure that they will. I think we'll be okay here. I might have to hold these guys together a little bit when we put them in, but I think we're gonna be all right. Maxie, now it's time to fry. Yeah. Let's go to the fryer. And in we go. One at a time, carefully. And when you put them in, put them in and drop away from you in case they splatter. My oil's at 350. Some might need a little help staying together. That's okay.
and we're probably looking at about two and a half minutes total for these. Tell you what, let's drop the uh, chicken ones in at the same time, shall we? Here comes chicken. And another one. Not there yet. You're definitely going to want to go about a minute before you start to turn them over. Let them Close get the some... Chicken, chicken in the front. Oh, chicken. Close to me. Yeah, see, I knew that the chicken would be problematic. Look, I could have used a toothpick in the chicken. The reason the beef ones are staying together because they've got the refried beans in there that are acting like glue. I think we might be okay here. Now everybody's staying together. So I'm going to turn them now. You can see the color changing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's hot as fuck. San Diego is 85 degrees right now and Max and I are freaking miserable. And when they're lovely and gorgeous and brown on both sides, two and a half, three minutes, we bring them out. And if you want, you can even tip them, let the oil run out, put them on paper towels, and we're there. And when they've cooled down a little bit, we can take them off. How do we do this? Like this. This is about the least elegant thing I have ever freaking done, man. I just wanted to line them up. Forget it. So they were pretty. We can do that for the picture, right, Max? Yeah. So here's what you've got. We've got our little redundant. We've got our tiny jack-in-the-box tacos that need this. Our creamy lime avocado sauce. So grab a guy. Here we go. Let's have a bite. By the way, Thomas, you should feel special because the gardeners only come when great things are happening here. And right now, this is about to be great. So you take your little tiny taco, redundant. You take your tiny taco, you dip it in some of your jalapeno lime cilantro deliciousness. You inspect and you have a bite. But I want you to listen because this is the important part. Ready, Max? Ready. Oh my god. Oh my god. The beef, the refried, the onion, the spices have come together in the most delightful, soft, luxurious, elegant sort of way, only to be lifted up, put on the shoulders of the crunchy little tortillas. Holy crap. This is something to behold. Let, just let me do it once more for you because, because well, I have to. That's what all this is about. That is the sound you hear when you eat a Jack and Locks taco. And then about five pounds of grease drips out of the bottom. Not greasy. Remember, here's the thing. People freak out about deep frying. Excuse me, I'm eating. People freak out about deep frying. But if it's at the right temperature, the oil doesn't soak in. If it's at the wrong temperature, meaning too low, the oil soaks in. Wow, we've done some good work here today. I'll let uh, the slop bong have the chicken ones. But here's how I'd like to end today. We started today by dedicating this episode to Thomas, who is now a new Marine, and that's fantastic. But as I'm thinking about this, Thomas wasn't the only Marine at that ceremony without family. So let's dedicate it to all the new Marines because they have worked ridiculously hard over these past months so that they can go the limits when they have to, that when the call is placed, they know how to answer. Look, Thomas and all the other Marines, your families are proud of you. Your friends are proud of you. And the Corps is proud of you, but you should be proud of yourselves because this is a feat that very few people can pull off 
So to all the families that can't be there and all the Marines that didn't have families there, we salute you, figuratively of course, because we can't really, but we're proud of you and we just want to say thank you. Today's a big day for you, it should be for everybody else that's associated with you. And that, my friends, is the end of today. Make the tacos, but more importantly, when you see a Marine, when you see someone in the Navy, the Coast Guard, anybody in uniform, you should go say thank you because they're there for us, for the stuff that we can't do or don't want to do or don't know how to do. <laughs> and by the way, I'm Canadian, so we do have a military up there. There's 38 guys and they're all named Pierre, but they're lovely and they eat poutine and then they fight. So, all right. Thanks everyone.